beautiful Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Bubba Jolie here with your Singles Love Reading for the end of August right through the end of October 2023. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <coughs> Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, this is your singles love reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. The first pile is going to be your protagonist energy, your approach to life and love. The second pile is going to be any obstacles that you've been experiencing. And the third pile is going to be your unified energy of how things are going to work out. And then I'm going to do a Celtic cross of who is coming towards you and hopefully we'll find out when as well. Okay, uh, now your first card there is the mouse. We've also got the stork. So I can see that some of you have uh, been waiting a long time for love. Nothing's been happening for quite some time and you're starting to worry. You're starting to worry if you're ever going to meet anybody. You may feel with the mouse energy, there's been a shortage of anyone that you're truly interested in. And I feel some of you uh, may have felt that you've experienced some toxic or draining um, events in love and you have taken yourself out of the dating scene for a little bit of um, time and it actually extended a little bit longer than you expected to be single okay now your first card there is the mouse so that can indicate that in some area of your life you have been taught how to play small so you may have lost your confidence in a previous uh, situation um, whether it was a love relationship that you separated from and it knocked your confidence uh, the mouse can be you know worry it can be stress it can also indicate that you were in an experience where uh, it deteriorated and it just became really draining but this is your protagonist energy so some of you are feeling really exhausted that you're like fed up of the dating scene you may have been putting yourself out there to find love but there is just a scarcity you may feel that there's no one really who sparks that level of attention within you right now so you're wondering what is the point what is the point in giving all of your energy to finding love when you could be focusing on yourself it's really important to recognize that love tends to find us when we are focusing on ourselves um, and when we are committed to our true life's calling so with the mouse energy I feel some of you have been a little bit hesitant to get back into the dating scene and you may have felt that things are stagnant in any way and you've got other things that are more important on your mind that you need to focus on. So um, with the stork in the resistance position, I feel you have been waiting for quite some time and you may feel that there's no movement in your love life. But in the coming weeks, I mean, the stork represents some sort of transformation, some sort of improvement that will be going on in your love life. And I feel like you will actually get some extra energy that renews your focus and your commitment to um, opening yourself up to love and recognizing that you are magnetic, that you are attracting the right sort of person in a healthy energy, someone who, you know, brings a lot to the table of love like you do, someone who uh, leads with reciprocity and uh, someone who's loyal, open and knows what they want, someone who is emotionally available. Because the stork, it can also represent a sudden new beginning. Suddenly there is an opportunity or there is movement after a period of stagnation in your love life. Some of you may have taken some time out to heal if you've been unwell or you've gone through a procedure or if you've actually been 
you know, dealing with heartbreak or some sort of bereavement. Some of you may be going through a period of enlightenment and healing. And I'm sending you a huge hug out there if you've been going through some major difficulties, but I can see that there are improvements on the horizon, okay? Now we do have the letter there, which indicates some sort of romantic correspondence, messaging back and forth, and this is in your future position. We've also got the child here, which represents new beginnings, hope, for the future, but also uh, to start with someone new who may be a little bit younger than you. So don't let that put you off, but I get a sense there is the beginning of a relationship where it starts to blossom and it will actually transform your life, okay? Now, really weird, when I touch these cards and I'm about to put them down, they're showing me and I really don't know how it resonates with your reading, they're showing me a little yellow rubber ducky. I don't know. They're just showing me a little yellow rubber duck. Okay, you know the sort of one that sometimes people have in their bathrooms? Now, either this new person that you're about to meet has one of those, and it was a gift or a joke gift given to them, or it could be something that this person will give to you. It could also be an image or a sign or a symbol that you'll see over the coming weeks regarding love. Um, it can indicate that someone new is coming in. I mean, the energy that they're giving me is happiness a reminder of childhood memories. Maybe that's why we've got the child there as well. Um, they're telling me that, thank you so much, I'm sure grateful. The yellow duck, uh, the rubber yellow duck represents childhood memories. And you and this new person, you will connect over sharing childhood memories. And this could be about sharing childhood memories about um, either, you know, the candy that we had back then or uh, computer games that we used to play back then or the way life used to be back then, games used to play as a childhood. I feel like there's going to be some sort of reminiscing energy when you meet this person and you just know this person is on the same vibe as you. What they're giving me, the main energy is you're about to meet someone whose love is very sincere and fun. This person, they've got a really wonderful sense of humor and they help you shine. They help you like come out of your shell and focus on love as opposed to all your projects and responsibilities. So let's go to the Celtic cross and see what's going on there for you. I feel you and this person, you'll travel quite quickly together is what I see. I feel like you may have like a vacation planned uh, with each other by the end of the year is what I'm seeing. We've got the Two of Swords. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Good Angels. Uh, two of Swords, as your starting or crossing position, indicates um, that your love life is at a bit of a standstill. You may feel things are stagnant, nothing's moving. But remember, you've got the Stork there, which represents some element of change or improvement in the opportunities that are coming your way to meet someone new. Okay, uh, we've got the Four of Cups there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Good Angels. It's really interesting because a lot of, how would you like to receive? Thank you so much. A lot of the readings, Four of Cups has been showing up. So I feel a lot of people have actually been focusing on their responsibilities, their duties. They've been wanting love, but a little bit closed off to it. So maybe that's how you've been feeling. And now you're starting to find a little bit more uh, motivation to get yourself into a position to meet love. Uh, you're I mean, your advice to yourself in this moment is King of Pentacles. Focus on your business, focus on your security, focus on your um, endeavors, your acquisitions, your finances, and, you know, being the best at what you do. So even if you're retired, I feel like you are someone who is focused on your projects. And I get a sense here that, you know, you're absorbing a lot of knowledge. I see someone reading lots of books, acquiring a lot of information. We got the King of Cups here. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of in their love life? Can you please guide them? What are they meant to see? Can you please show them the way? What are they meant to be aware of? Okay, we have the Judgment card and we have the Page of Swords. Okay, so again, it's landing on a card. I mean, your outcome energy is the same as the communications card. You're going to be talking to somebody new, okay? And this is when you are doing something where you change your life. 
okay? I feel like you're doing something new in your life. I feel like you're trying to leave an old part of your life behind and you're embracing either a new path or you're opening yourself up to some sort of change. It could be to travel, it could be to change your lifestyle, it could be to relocate, it could even be job related. I get a sense that you're going through a cycle of transition and this is where you're going to meet this person. Um, but anyway, let's get straight to it. We've got the Two of Swords. That's your starting position, and it just feels like nothing's happening, okay? I feel like you're having to adapt to a lot of things in your life where you're trying to find balance. I feel like with the Two of Swords, some of you felt very uncertain about your love life, so you took yourself out of the dating scene for a while. You're fed up of attracting people who are wishy-washy, in and out, who don't know what they want and are emotionally closed off. So I really get a sense here with this Two of Swords, you've been taking a break in order to find answers within yourself that help you with your life. Not just with love, but I feel the Two of Swords is to find a peaceful state of mind in order to really get clear about what you want, to hone your intuition, to you know open yourself up to discovering new lands. That's what the Two of Swords is all about. There's a figure in the traditional Rider Waite Tarot. She sits on very calm shores on the sand with two swords up, because she is uh, kind of in fight or flight mode, really trying to hone her intuition. She's blindfolded, which means she's trying to use her otherworldly senses in order to find direction or find her way. And in the background, there are new lands that she's about to discover, and she's feeling a little bit uncertain about the way, so she's remaining very still. Now, many, many years ago, when I broke up with someone, it was a very um, damaging experience for me, it left me like a shell of myself, I became very still. And I, I just became very conscious of the fact that I wasn't making a move in any area of my life, but I was in a period of deep healing and deep transition where I was trying to discover the way. And I was really trying to check in with myself. And some of you, even though you may feel like you're busy, you are doing a lot. I feel like you're doing a lot of multitasking. I feel like you have a lot of options in life, but I get a sense here that you are really in a pause. So I don't feel like your love life is over. I definitely see that there's someone new coming in, but with the Two of Swords present, I get a sense here that right now, you're just trying to figure things out for yourself and you're trying to adapt to some sort of change that is going on in your life. And it's almost like you've put love on the back burner for a little while and it may have turned out it was on the back burner for a little longer than you expected. What do we have crossing you? Page of Pentacles, someone who makes an effort. You may feel that you know the world has changed and people who are looking for love are also changing. And you may feel that perhaps um, you found in the past that you were always the one over giving. You were always the one who was offering your love or offering your uh, help and you know really you know, trying to fight for love. And I get a sense here that you've just taken a little bit of a withdrawal period in order to work out what it is that you want. You're looking for someone who is dependable, someone's loyal, someone that you can take the journey of life and love with, someone who's on the same page as you. And I definitely see that happening for you as well. The Page of Pentacles can be work. So I get a sense here that a lot of you have been focusing on your projects or your responsibilities. Even if you're retired, I feel like you may have family responsibilities or you may have projects that you're connected to. I feel like you've been very patient looking for love or waiting for love or waiting for the right person to enter your life. But I feel like there's an energy here of focusing on um, your plans and, you know, focusing on your prosperity. I feel like you're committing yourself to finances or to uh, build a solid foundation in your life. And the Page of Pentacles really indicates that you have the ability to attract what you need. Okay, I feel like you tend to give your all to a relationship. And when you were younger, I feel like, you know, you may have lost yourself or lost your sense of self in another person. And it may not have gone the way you'd hoped for. And I get a sense here that um, you may have been feeling let down or um, you may have had a, a bad breakup there. I really get a sense also that some of you I feel like you're just trying to create financial independence in your life. And that's no bad thing because when the moment is right, when you feel you're ready to open up to love, then of course you will. Um, some of you have just been trying to temper your effort 
as to how much you focus on love because you may feel that um, you're not ready for it right now. Whatever those circumstances may be that are making you feel like you're not ready, I feel like you're really honoring who you are in this moment and you're not going to force yourself to go out there and, and find somebody just because you feel sometimes maybe those 3 a.m. thoughts that you're lonely. I feel like you're actually very self-sufficient, you're very independent, and I get a sense that you don't need anybody, but I feel like you want a companion, someone that you can stand side by side with and you know really trust them to take the journey of life and love with you, okay? And you're going to find that. You've got a queen of pentacles in your um, potential position and you're vibing at a king of pentacles, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy. So I feel like you're attracting someone, manifesting someone, at this time who vibes at the same frequency as you. What's below you? Wheel of Fortune. The universe is turning its wheel in your favor. I get a sense that um, you know destiny intervenes to put you and this person on each other's path, okay? So you're gonna be the right place, the right time to meet this person. Lots of synchronicities coming your way. I will look out for the yellow rubber duck. I'm not really sure how it um, resonates with you or your reading, but it may be a sign over the coming months. I mean, you could literally go to a restaurant with a new person on a date, and in the corner as one of the ornaments, they have a yellow rubber duck. It could be a sign that you're like, OMG, Baba mentioned a yellow rubber duck, and here it is, and I want to date with this person. It's a sign to you that this person is someone special in your life, okay? Um, now, I feel like you're letting it down to fate because you have tried your best to find love in the past and you may have felt it just didn't vibe at the frequency you're vibing at. And sometimes we gotta say goodbye to the past because people from our past, they're not capable of taking the journey that we are on and that's okay. We evolve, we outgrow each other, we move on from situations towards something greater and that's what I see you doing right now. In the in the past position, the Four of Cups tells me that um, you may have been let down, disappointed, and I get a sense also that you're bored, that there's nobody out there who really sparks your attention. I get a sense here that some of you have been discouraged in love and you're just focusing on other things, but this card indicates keep your eyes peeled because some of you have been manifesting love and I feel like there's an abundance of opportunities headed in your direction and I feel love is coming to you in an unexpected way and because the four cups tends to mean the universe steps in and offers you an opportunity for the thing that has not been going very well for you. So I get a sense here that uh, the universe is going to offer you a new cup of love, something that is more rewarding than any love you've ever experienced. I get a sense here that the universe is responding to your desires. Have faith. And I feel um, that love the path to love is going to take many, many forms. I feel you don't just have one opportunity to meet this person. I feel like you have several. So really tap into your intuition, listen to those hunches that you have, because I feel it is a hunch that you have that you should attend something or you should you know, uh, do something that puts you on the path to meet this new person, okay? Now, in the potential position, we got the Queen of Pentacles, someone who is committed, loyal, someone who is also waiting for the one, someone who is actually financially well off, uh, someone who is capable of opening themselves up to love, being emotionally available, and offers um, you know, a love that is safe, kind, loving, passionate, intense, someone who understands Someone who's a good listener is what I'm being given here. Uh, this person is also waiting for the one. So this person has waited a long time to find love and I feel you're meeting each other in a very similar vibe. Um, this is someone you'll settle down with, okay? On the other energy that I've got coming through here, this is an energy that some of you, my beautiful Capricorn, you've been a bit of a homebody recently and I feel this is about coming out of your comfort zone. So with the Queen of Pentacles, some of you have been, you know, really focusing on your plans. I get a sense here that interesting. Thank you so much, I'm really grateful. Um, some of you have been doing what you wanted to do that that you found challenging, things that you found challenging. It could be a work Thing that you're doing right now it could be uh, you know your career that you're expanding that you're saving your finances it could also be that you're looking after your family I get a sense of responsibility with this card but I also get a sense of a very protective love coming on in now this new person that you're about to meet because there is someone new coming in for you this person is going to help you with something 
Now, it doesn't have to be with a project. It could be that um, they have a piece of information that you need or that you wanted to find. It could also be that they offer you uh, a contact or, I mean, I get a sense this person is really fun to be with, but I also get a sense that this person helps. It's almost like you build a life together that is very... Uh, very intense, very passionate, very lucky. I get a sense that both of you together, your energies combined, creates a power couple, that you are very lucky together. There's a lot of abundance about you. Both of you tend to attract what you need when you're together. So I feel this is a pairing that must happen. I feel this person is destined to come into your life. But there's something right at the beginning of you kind of like getting to know this person some people call it like the honeymoon period. Um, I get a sense here that this person will help you with something and it shows that they're super dedicated to you, that they really want to get to know you better on a deeper level, that they're someone who's gonna stick around and you will actually grow old with this person, okay? Now we got the sun, oh, I just realized, oh my gosh, I just realized that this person, the sun, is taking a bath and that, you know, rubber ducky tends to be like, in the bath. So I don't know, maybe there's something there when you go to visit this person's house, or maybe you just got given one as a, a gift um, from somebody, you know, as a little sweet uh, little joke gift or something. So please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure what it means for your reading, but that's what they were showing me. Um, now the sun card is in your near future position. So this is you know, a relationship blossoming. This is an awakening. This is you being happy, being joyful. And it's also about a positive time in your life. And I get a sense that happiness is returning to your life because I feel some of you have been struggling. But also with the sun card and, you know, this figure is taking a bath. I feel some of you are, you know, choosing healthier boundaries for yourself. I feel some of you are actually opening yourself up to cleansing your past out of your energetic sphere. So I feel a lot of you have been doing a lot of decluttering in your life. The sun card actually represents um, success in your endeavors, okay? And you know, if your endeavor is to find a love that loves you back in the same way, I get a sense here that you're going to reach your goal, okay? Now, your advice to yourself in this moment, King of Pentacles, only open yourself up to people who want to settle down, who are serious about finding love, who are not toxic, someone who you can trust, someone who matches your vibe, who is looking in the same direction as you when it comes to a loving relationship. So we've got a king and queen of pentacles here. Now, of course, Capricorn, you are an earth element. There's a strong potential that you're going to meet someone who's also got uh, some Capricorn, but also could have some Taurus, Virgo in their chart. They're very grounded. This person knows what they want. This person has been challenged in the past and they've learned to appreciate love. They are very passionate, very intense. And I get a sense here, this person is looking to settle down and so are you. So I feel this is going to be a, a very happy union where both of you are on the same page, you want the same things, and I feel like it's a very successful relationship. Both of you are actually well off as well or will be well off. There's a lot of money attracted to you in this person, a lot of good luck that will surround you in this person when you get together, okay? Now, the external circumstances, we've got the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands can indicate that, you know, you're very cautious, that you have been waiting for a long time, and that you have been doing a lot of questioning about your life in general. The Nine of Wands indicates a wounded warrior. So some of you have been hurt in the past and you're healing or you're cleansing. And I get a sense here that you're going to allow that to run its course before you open yourself up to new love, okay? Um, the Nine of Wands can be the be guarded, okay? But I also feel there's an energy here of waiting for the right person, not giving up on love, and looking carefully to see if there's a different approach or a different path that be, be right for you at this time. Because if you always do what you always did when it comes to love, I feel like you're going to get the same outcome. And if you're not happy with that outcome, I get a sense here that you're trying to change your approach. Now, I'm going to pull a card on this Nine of Wands because I also get a sense of pressure. So some of you may have been under pressure with responsibility or with work or just felt like there's not enough hours in the day and you feel really exhausted. So trying to look for love is probably the last thing on your mind. But I'm just going to pull a card and see what that nine of wands is really giving for this connection. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Angels. Can you please guide? Because they'll give me the word persistence. 
So you're not giving up on love. Three of Cups. Now the Three of Cups is to um, connect to community events or connect to people. Go out with friends, have fun, you know, really let your hair down. So some of you may have been a bit of a homebody recently or you may not have had any invitations or you may not have just seen any events are worth your attention but I get a sense here it's time to go out there and have fun so I feel some of you are trying to reconnect to friends that you used to have a lot of fun with and I feel that you'll celebrate coming out of a comfort zone because I feel like you're going to meet someone new we've got the Queen of Cups there thank you so much spirit guys great angels we got the King of Cups and we got the Ten of Swords so the Ten of Swords it can indicate that you've been at rock bottom, okay? That you may have ended something that was very intense, very passionate, but it came to a very disappointing end. But it can also indicate that you've been out of the dating game for so long that there's just been nothing going on. And it represents a shift in energy to open yourself up to a new beginning. You know, I feel like you're leaving the past behind. You've learned a lot of lessons. And I get a sense here that you're responding differently to a challenging situation. So it can be that you're getting out there to enjoy yourself, have fun. Um, if you've been that homebody or if you've had a lot of responsibility on, you've been working really hard, I get a sense here that you're ending your approach or you're ending something in your life and you're connecting to a love connection. I mean, even though there's, I mean, you may even double date with somebody because there's a queen of pentacles here and there is a king of pentacles you could even have a friend who's a Scorpio energy who knows somebody and uh, invites you out to something and you actually meet someone through that person doesn't have to be but I'm really getting a sense here that you'll meet this person who is not just a friend for life but also a lover for life I get a sense that you are meeting someone who loves in the same way as you do who understands love in the same way as you do and i feel there's a very passionate intense bond where you can see the future with this person and they're very supportive this person um i feel like you fall in love with this person instantly okay and you don't tend to do that so i definitely see you're meeting someone who is emotionally available and this person they'll become your lover at first Okay, I, I get a sense here that you and this person, you're not rushing to the altar, but I do get a sense here that both of you are aware that it is love right from the get-go, and both of you have a lot of fun, and I'm hearing lots of laughter. So this is a relationship where you and this person will, um, you've both got very awesome sense of humors, and I feel both of you will um, make each other laugh. Sorry, I'm being distracted because they're giving me a song in the water right now. I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading. So I'm clear audience and I uh, hear, you know, speaking or I hear songs. I also see images. So they're giving me a song. One moment, please. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. It's the greatest feeling nobody denies. It's laughter, love and joy in disguise. Okay, now I swear I've heard this song before, so it may have come up in a reading before. I can't really place it, so I gotta be honest with that. But I'm being given John Lennon, and it's not John Lennon who sings what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a woman sing this song, okay? I'm seeing someone now. A beautiful um, red hair. Um, it's, it's like a, it's like a, how, what, what would you call that hairstyle? Like bob haircut? Um, uh, well, I, I can't quite place who the singer is. I gotta be honest, but I'm being given John Lennon. So maybe he's connected to this person in some way or to, yeah, to who sings this in some way, or he's connected in some way. I'm not really sure. Um, so please take it as it resonates. Okay. I mean, the song literally says surprise. Um, it's the greatest feeling. What was the other lyric? Because it stopped now. Uh, something about laughter. And I was talking about this person being very fun to be with. So maybe this song will play over the next six weeks that indicates you're about to meet somebody new. So listen out for that song on the radio or it may even play on your play shuffle. It sounds like a very dated song. I would almost want to say... 
oh, maybe 70s, 80s. Maybe that's why the John Lennon thing is coming through. I'm not sure. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, listen out for that song if you know what it is. I'm going to also look it up as well. Now, hope and a fear, King of Cups. You want someone who offers you the highest love of all because you deserve it. You invest all of yourself when you're in love and you don't connect to people easily. So with the King of Cups energy here, I get a sense that you are attracting someone that you can see your future with. I mean, the fear is anyone who's trying to be emotionally manipulative. I get a sense here that you may have been in a relationship in the past that withheld their love as or withheld their attention as like a punishment if something went wrong in the relationship or you had an argument. So I feel some of you may have dealt with someone in the past who was difficult and childish in their energy, okay? Um, but I, I get a sense here that actually your hope is to find the one, okay? And I feel like you are finding the one. So it's no accident that you um, got a king and queen of cups come out there as well. I just wanna pull a card to see if you're going to meet this person through a friend because I'm getting a very strong sense of that. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide through your cups? Yep, yeah, through a friend. So the same cards are coming out. So when you go out with either friends or your, um, you know, it could even be like someone's wedding, it could be a party, it could be an event, their birthday. I get a sense that you're with friends when you connect to this person. Now it doesn't have to be like that, but the majority energy of what I'm getting here with the Capricorn reading and the fact that I shuffled twice. The Three of Cups tells me it's a gathering of people. Could even be that you're going to a community event that you're excited to go to, um, where there is a celebration or a feast. I mean, if you're religious, it could be a religious feast day or something like that. So I really get a sense here that you're going somewhere where you're about to have a lot of fun and you're gonna meet your divine counterpart there, okay? Now your outcome energy we have the Judgment card and the Page of Swords. Now the Judgment card is a card of second chances, okay? So I'm getting two energies from this. The Judgment card is about a wake up call, being clear about what you want and finding your life's purpose or finding purpose. So I feel with the Judgment card, you understand what you need to do in order to change your love life or your circumstances. So you're being called forward to activate that. But also the Judgment card can indicate if for some time you've been feeling a little bit out of the loop or you've withdrawn from love for a while, I get a sense that you are becoming more motivated or you're getting that second wind energy where suddenly you feel a little bit more compelled to see who might be out there or to put yourself in circumstances to meet new people. I mean, some of you, your life's purpose may be to unite community. Okay, so some of you may be actually starting up a business where you set up a retreat or a course where people come together. Some of you may be, um, you know, I don't know, a photographer where people come to you for business or, um, you know, people come together for your services. I get a sense here that you are uniting or you're in a group that is united and you meet this person, okay? Um, also with the judgment card, it is a bit of a wake up call. So it basically sees you at a self evaluation period and you know, you need to re like let go of things that are from the past that are stopping you. I get a sense from this card that you are rebirthing yourself. So you're suddenly renewing your faith that love exists out there and it can be a healthy love for you as well. And we've got the Page of Swords. So that indicates you're gonna be talking to someone new. Pages, they bring news. Uh, someone who's gonna be very curious about you. I do feel that this person's a little bit younger than you, okay? But I feel like you match each other's vibe and you are working towards the same thing and you want the same thing in a relationship. The Page of Swords is to be curious about where it goes. It can be two people or who are like a meeting of minds. I mean, it could coincide as well with some sort of news about a job or something that's connected to your life's purpose path. Some of you may be searching for direction and suddenly you get some news about that and it spins you off into a different um, area of your life and that's where you meet this new person. So I'm quite excited for you, my beautiful Capricorns, because I definitely see that you deserve love and it's been a long time coming, okay? Um, we do have the Eight of Pentacles, so you've been working on yourself, focusing on your projects. Let's see if they want anything more. You're being guided to this person. Okay, I feel like you've been guided out of difficulty because the Eight of Swords tells me that you've been feeling really stuck. 
I mean, you may also see lots of double eights everywhere uh, because of the numerical synchronicity that's coming through and you have the Wheel of Fortune, which means you're gonna see lots of double numbers. You may even start to see 1111 everywhere you go, which tells me a soulmate is coming in for you, okay? But you've been feeling stuck and the Eight of Swords is to be honest with yourself and identify where you've been feeling stuck because you have been going through a period of healing and growth, but you're also liberating yourself from a narrative that has kept you stuck. So I get a sense here that some of you may be a little bit nervous to open yourself up to love or get back in the dating scene after a long period of time. But the Six of Swords indicates whilst you've been tested and yes, whilst you've been encouraged to work on yourself and invest a lot of your energy in you, in your money, in your responsibilities, maybe buying a home or uh, you know, really trying to get yourself on track, the Six of Swords tells me that you're being guided towards something that is more emotionally fulfilling. And the Six of Swords can indicate that some of you are traveling or actually um, thinking about relocating. But ultimately, the Six of Swords is about you being on a journey and escaping a feeling of being stuck, that you're evolving, that you are being rem you know, removed from obstacles or obstacles are being removed for you and it's a time of exploration. What if you go out there and do something new? You could meet someone new. And I get a sense that um, there's a very rewarding relationship on the other side, okay? So I'm just gonna pull some final cards before I either show me blue, these blue flowers. I'm being given that they're called forget-me-nots. Forget-me-nots. Um, there's, oh. <laughs> Now, they, they're telling me the, the forget-me-nots are not about your past. They are, they're an indication that when you meet this new person, you're not gonna forget them and they're not gonna forget you. That's what I'm seeing. Um, it's like you and this person will have an unforgettable first meeting, unforgettable, okay? And that song may even um, play as well. That song may play. Unforgettable, that's what you are. Um, yeah, so listen out for that song too. Unusual to get two songs in the reading, but just briefly I heard Unforgettable, that's what you are, that's all they gave me, okay? Now, your final cards are self-love, so I feel like you have been going through a period of personal um, discovery, and I feel like you're seeking greater authenticity in your world, and I feel like that's maybe why you took yourself out of the dating scene to actually find balance in your life. We've also got Resilience, so I do feel like you have a lot of uh, responsibility on your shoulders. You're very, very busy, but it's about creating space to allow love to enter. And I feel some of you have had a lot of baggage that you've been sorting through and it's been messy. But, and you needed the time in order to focus um, on setting that down and releasing it. Um, if you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders, I feel that a lot of you are going to complete your tasks or responsibilities and free up your time so that you can find somebody new, okay? Uh, resilience tends to mean that you're not giving up. It has been difficult, but you're nearly there, okay? Uh, now, finally, we've got attraction. So there's definitely some level of attraction between you and this new person. It will lead to a higher level of commitment. And I feel when you first meet each other, I keep getting this energy, it will be an unforgettable first meeting. Uh, this person leaves an impression on your heart as much as you leave an impression on theirs. And it's number 44, okay? 44, when you reduce it, four plus four is eight, the number of the self. So I get a sense here, two people who are very independent, who have done a lot of soul searching, a lot of work on themselves are coming together and there is a very wonderful relationship. Also, you know, eight is the number of wealth, success. So I feel it's a very powerful couple pairing that when you and this person come together, there is a lot of success, wealth and good luck that is attracted to you both because of your energy vibes matching and meeting, okay? Now I'm just gonna go and get a final trinket before we close. We have the lucky cat. Now that connects to the Wheel of Fortune energy, but also it indicates two very independent people curious about each other, looking before they leap, okay? Also, this person may have a cat or you may have a cat. Um, they're showing me a cat right now. Let me connect to that one moment, please. Hmm, 
Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. They're just showing me an image of a cat. It's a black and white cat. And I heard the words, the cat is wearing a dinner jacket. It's so weird. It's so random. I totally know. The cat is wearing a dinner jacket. Now, I can't imagine that this person or you are, are dressing this cat up. If you have a cat, I mean, it could indicate um, the fact that they're black and white. So it looks like they have a dinner jacket on. Maybe you're going to come across a cat like that that just stops and stares at you in the street or comes towards you in the street. Maybe that's your sign. I'm not really sure. It could literally mean that as soon as you finish this video, you go online and you see like a reel or something of someone who's dressed up their cat in a dinner jacket. I don't know. So I'm going to leave it like that because it may not resonate at all for anybody, but that's what they just gave me. So uh, I'm going to leave it like that. But ultimately, I feel you and someone new are being drawn together and it's love. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Capricorn. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press on little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. Love and light.